Hi, how you doing? It's going to be a little short one. I'm going to see if this is better for the mic. So you guys are able to hear me a little bit better. I hope this is a little more consistent. I do hope so. If not, well, this video is going to be screwed for audio. So today I want to talk about how I made a decision, a big decision, very important one, to, to abstain and to desexualize my mind more to stop completely everything that has to do with with fornication, with uh, sex, social media, how it posts, how they post stupid stuff, women on thumbnails for some stupid reason. It's not that I click on it, but I follow channels that tend to do stuff like that. Obviously, they have other context. That's the reason why I follow them. But then it's just, it's... It's messing up my head. And when I use that energy, that pent up sexual energy in something unproductive, that does not help me at all. But that really takes away the energy that I need to succeed in life. And I have a girlfriend. I have a wonderful girlfriend. Wonderful. She, she lives far. So we have a long distance relationship. But, but we do, yeah, we have in the past, we still, well, we we're doing up until this moment where we decided that we are not going to do anything and we're going to save each other till marriage. We're going to save our bodies and all of that till marriage. And it's, it's a big decision because I plan on marrying her in five years. So it's a long wait. Good things come to those who wait. And let me tell you, I know it's going to be worth the wait, for sure. It's going to be a tough, very, very tough five years. I mean, God, I hope it's going to be less. It's, it's by other reasons that I cannot get married right now. But let me tell you, uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But it's important. And I believe it's very important. I am 100% sure that it's very important that you talk to your partner about it and really understand the sacrifice that's going to be made and why it's going to be made. Why? Because you get to preserve yourself to marriage. You get to stop thinking about that. You get to desensit you get to like resensitize your, your body and not become numb sexually. You get to really understand and appreciate sex for what it is, a complement of love, like a supplement, like an addition to love, not a detachment from it. And that is very important. That's something that I already know, that I already know, but that I, I want to keep that there, and I don't want to lose that. And social media, the internet, you know, it says like, they say that it's like what you what you follow and all that, which is true. Some of the stuff you can just stop doing that. But then you're trying to watch TV when you whenever do, for some reason you're watching TV and then you see an ad that's just basically that just 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 that the female body. Just an attraction. And the and the product has nothing to do with it, but then why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do that? Shows, you watch any shows, and why do you have to do that? You're watching a cartoon, or you're watching anime. Why did you have to, like, the show has nothing to do with, um, you know, with showing off, or why did you have to put that scene in there? Why? Like, why? You see what I mean? It's not that you're looking for it, it's just that it pops up everywhere on your face. Why do you have to do that? So I'm going to diminish, 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 diminish. I'm really just, I've always, since I was a kid, and especially like in my teenage, like younger teens years, like 13, 14, all my friends were very sexually um, oriented. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but like sexually focused. Like when they see a cute girl or hot girl, like, oh my God, look at that. Da, da, da. Or when a hot teacher bends over and, she, like her pants is not, you know what I mean? 
So they're like, oh, look at that, look at that. And I never really saw or really paid attention to that. I always avoided that because to me, it was like, I don't want to see that. That's not right. And I don't want to, I don't want my emotions, my, my inner urges to control me. So I'll just avoid it. And that's how I've always been, avoiding, avoiding. But when you start going into media and all that, it's like, wow, you can't avoid it. You Sometimes you just can't, you can't avoid it. Just It literally pops up in your face all the time. It's like, oh, wow. Like, when I'm trying to go into Twitter, for some reason, I don't follow any of you guys. Why do I get like this OnlyFans girl or, or just people like posting very sexual memes, which aren't even that funny? And then it's like thirst trapping stupid stuff. Well, I just scroll faster. And for some reason, you know, Facebook, Facebook does this where they put posts of stuff you don't want to see so you can scroll faster and forget about it and keep on scrolling in order to forget about it. You know what I mean? So when you see something you don't want to see on Facebook, let's say a post of somebody that your ex or whatever that kisses another guy, you're like, ah. Oh. And just keep scrolling to forget about what, what you see. On average, people tend to do that. So on app, so Facebook and I guess Twitter maybe does that. They put stuff that you don't want to see so you can keep on scrolling. So I was like, damn, you can't win. So damn, you sometimes you can't win. Sometimes you see a lot of shit on. So the good the the good behavior would be you see something you don't like, you just get off the platform. Then they'll know to don't. Just don't show that. Uh, all right. That's basically all I wanted to say. Preserving yourself till marriage. Saving yourself till marriage. Cassidy. 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 Yeah. I think that's how you say it. Chastity. Yeah. <laughs> and doing what's right. This is something that I knew was right for the longest time, but I didn't have the the strength to really sit down and talk to her about it because I was scared also what she would feel because I know what's right and I know she knows that it's right too but I don't want to pressure her into because this is a very important decision this is a very we, we just talked about it it's a very very important decision it's a very hard decision too it's very hard very 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 hard you got to give each other you know consequences if we do do stuff you know on our own or this and that so it's it's a very tough conversation, but luckily, and the reason why I do want to marry her is because we have an amazing communication. She understands me perfectly, and I understand her. She understands my point. I I understand hers. We're able to dialogue, we're able to compromise, and we really see the benefit of doing this. We should just not mess up what we have, not mess up what we have. To not eat the candy bar or the marshmallow today in order to eat two or three or four or five tomorrow. Great thing comes, great things come to those who wait. Great things come to those who wait. Delay gratification. Clean your mind. Be better. Strive to be better. And do what's right even if you think you don't have the strength to do it. Do what's right. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.